all. Can we solve this? I don't know. I just, I love the maths. Just by seeing the question, I was, uh, I'm already in love with it. Okay. So let's please solve this lovely mathematics together. So we're asked to solve to get the value of X. The first thing we need to do is looking at this. The first thing that came to my mind is to just simplify it. How do we go about it? So we're going to have X squared plus what? X squared divided by X plus one squared is equal to three. So let's factorize. We have X squared brackets. So we are going to have, for this side, we have one plus. For here, we are going to have one divided by X plus one squared, okay, is equal to three. Then the first thing, the next thing we need to do is to just solve whatever we have inside the bracket, okay? So to do that, when you look at this, you are going to notice that we have what the LCM should be x plus one, okay? So we have x squared bracket. The LCM is x plus one squared. Now x plus this is what one is same thing as one over one. Now when one divides this, you are going to have x plus one squared multiplied by one. We are still going to have x plus one squared. Okay, plus this plus. Now, when this is divided by this, you have 1. 1 times this 1 will give us 1, okay? This is for both of them. All right. Is equal to 3. Now, we have x plus 1 squared. I want us to expand the 1 on top. Yes. And now I want us to recall this algebra identity that states that a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now, in this case, our A is X while our B is 1. So, let's quickly expand that. It's not really difficult, okay? So, we have X squared. We open our brackets. X squared, right, plus 2AB. That is 2 times X times 1, which is 2X. Plus B squared. That is 1 squared, which is still 1. Then, plus 1. Everything divided by X plus 1 squared is equal to 3. So we have that x squared bracket, x squared plus 2x plus 2 divided by x plus 1 squared, all right? Everything is equal to 3. 1 plus 1 is 2. That is what I did. Please, this bracket is for everything. So we have x to the power of 2 brackets. So we can now rewrite this as what? x squared divided by x plus 1 squared right plus well, i'm just trying to divide them okay so plus we have 2x plus 2 divided by x plus 1 squared why am i doing that because i know i can bring out x plus 1 from this side okay if i factorize it and this is equal to 3 have you subscribed yet if not what are you waiting for if this is the first time i've seen this face Please click on that subscription button, turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. I know that I upload video twice every day, sometimes three times. So please check all the time for new uploads. Thank you so much. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoy what we are doing. Okay, thank you. So at this point, we are going to continue from here. So let's solve. We have x squared multiplied by x squared divided by x plus 1 squared, right? Plus, now it's time to factorize this. This can, if we factorize 2 out, we are going to have 2 multiplied by x plus 1, right? So we have 2 brackets x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. Yes, x plus 1 squared means x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. All right? All right. Now, everything is equal to 3. So, we have x squared bracket. x squared divided by x plus 1 squared. All right? Plus 2. This we divide this. And we have 2 divided by what? x plus 1. All right. And everything is equal to 3. Now, let's open these brackets. Let's open the bracket. So when we do that, when x squared multiplies x squared, we are going to have 
x squared multiplied by x squared divided by x plus 1 squared, right? Plus, this is going to be 2 multiplied by x squared divided by x plus 1. Yeah, this one is just x plus 1, no squared anymore. Okay, now everything is equal to 3. I want us to look closely here. Let's look very well. You can see that we have x squared divided by x plus 1. And we have x squared divided by, there's another x plus 1 here, right? Okay, so if that is the case, let's simplify this by saying, let x plus 1 be, sorry, not just x plus 1. Let x squared divided by x plus 1 be equal to y. Let's call it y. And once we've done that, we will now simplify this to get something. Now, most of you will be like, okay, I think we have formed the quadratic equation. Trust me, even after finding that, we still need this y to get our x, and it's not funny. So I'll advise you to see it or you can pause the video and try it out yourself. Then continue with the video and see if you are going to get the final solution. All right, now let's continue. Let us continue from here. So I'm going to multiply this by this. So x to the power of 2 multiplied by x to the power of 2 we give us x to the power of 4 divided by x plus 1 squared, right? Plus 2x squared divided by x plus 1 alright? Is equal to 3. Now recall what we said. Let's, okay, let's factorize this first. We can write this as x squared raised to the power of 2, right? Divided by x plus 1 raised to the power of 2 plus 2x squared divided by x plus 1 is equal to 3. Now we have squared, we have squared, we can bring them together, okay? I want to minimize this board or maximize the board. So when we have the same power, we can actually write this as x squared over x plus 1. Everything raised to the power of 2, right? Plus 2x squared over x plus 1 is equal to 3. Now, recall that x squared over x plus 1 is equal to y. So that means we can write this as y squared plus 2y, right? Since from here is our y, right? So plus 2y is equal to 3. So we can write this as y squared plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. So let's solve this quadratical using uh, factorization is possible. So because the coefficient of y squared here is 1, I'm not going to stress myself. All I'm going to do is this is y, right? So we are looking for y. So y squared is y and is y. Now two factors of minus 3 that when I add them, I get 2. is going to be 3 and minus 1, right? So that means it's going to be plus 3 and minus 1. And this is equal to 0. So this means that y plus 3 is equal to 0 and y minus 1 is equal to 0. So if we should solve the left-hand side of this equation, then we can get... So we'll get that our y is equal to minus 3 or our y is equal to 1. But recall that your y is equal to this, right? x squared divided by x plus 1. So for this one, we can say x squared over x plus 1 is equal to minus 3. Now let's cross multiply. x plus 1 multiplied by this will be minus 3x minus 3, right? Okay, is equal to x squared. So we can rewrite x squared. If this goes to this side, it becomes plus 3x. If this crosses, it becomes plus 3. Is equal to 0. Now, we can solve this using the factorization, um, using the quadratic equation formula, which states that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. All right? So, that means that our x here will be minus b. Our b is the coefficient of x, which is 3, right? So our b should be minus 3. So we have minus 3 plus or minus square root of b squared. That is 3 squared. We give us 9 minus 4ac. That is 4 times 1. The coefficient of x squared is our 1. So 4 times 1 and our c is 3. 
4 times 1 times 3 will give us 12. Divided by 2a, that is 2 times 1, which is 2. Okay, so we continue. Let me just stay like this. I prefer it this way. All right, so that means that our x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 divided by 2. That means x is minus 3 plus or minus um, square root of 3i divided by 2. Now, that is this is the first and the second value of x. Now, also recall that our y is equal to 1. So, we can say also y is equal to 1. That means 1 is equal to the whole of this. x squared divided by x plus 1. Then, when we cross multiply, we can say that x squared is equal to 1 multiplied by this. We still give us the same thing. Now, let's transpose to this side. We have x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, we are going to solve again using quadratic equation formula, which states that x is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. All right? So, that means x will be minus b. That is minus minus 1, right? Which is 1 plus or minus square root of b squared. That is minus 1 squared, which will give us 1 as well. Minus 4ac. 4 times 1 times minus 1 will give us minus 4. So, minus 4 multiplied by minus will give us plus 4. All right? Divided by 2a, that is 2 times our a is 1, the coefficient of x squared. So, divided by 2. So, we can write x to be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So, this becomes the second and the third value, yes. Because in here, we have x is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. And we also have that x is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. I believe you already know this. Thank you so much for watching and bye.